Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. So for the full problem and solution transcript, you can feel free to check the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's problem of the week asks you to use Laplace transforms to uh, solve this initial value problem. And this is a pretty standard question for linear algebra or differential equations class. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I've given you everything you need on the board to solve it, so I'm going to go ahead um, and take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, take these Laplace transforms and uh, I've given you um, basically what you need up there. Um, all you need to do is take the Laplace transform of Dirac delta as well as those. And um, you'll see that gives you e to the power of negative 2s. Uh, so from here, since it's an initial value problem, I've given you these y zeros and the y prime of zeros that you would ever hope to need, and they're up there. It's an initial value problem, so let's go ahead and plug those in. Uh, so I've gone ahead and plugged those in, and right now we're just going to separate it so that we can um, kind of isolate the uh, capital Y of S, and then um, rewrite it. So. So after rearranging some terms, dividing by um, this, you get this expression. And this can further be put into an easier thing to look at by um, noticing that there's a complete square in there and that we can um, kind of take that out and then have a 1 left over because s squared plus 6s plus 9 is a perfect square. And that is indeed a perfect square of s plus 3, uh, quantity squared. And then I'm going to separate this into uh, these two parts. Um, based on the numerator, and you'll see why. Um, it makes it a lot easier to finish solving um, this with Laplace transforms. Uh, and from here, we see that we have these, um, that it matches, uh, sorry, these up here. Um, we have an e to the power of negative 2s, and what that does is it translates to a heavy side step function when we take the inverse Laplace transform to find y of x. And so we're just going to have first this heavy side step function. And then if you can see, um, e to the negative ax sine bx, well, we have the form of, the, of what would inverse Laplace transform into that, where b is equal to 1, and a would be equal to 3, uh, or negative 3. And if we plug that in, we'll just get, um, we plug that in by taking the inverse Laplace transform, we'll just get why, and that's exactly what we want. So heavy size step function, e is to the power of negative 2s, therefore I plug in. Uh, and then as you can see, since we use that heavy side step function um, and that property of the class transform, we had to shift all of these terms by um, that amount. And then we have this leftover e to the negative 3 sine x. As we said earlier, that matches with that. And that would be the answer to this initial value problem. Um, and that's it for this week's problem of the week. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more problems of the week, you can check up here for a playlist. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, feel free to click right here. And if you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, feel free to click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there should be I in the corner up there. And if you click those, they should give you the same links. Thank you very much for watching.